Uh, so yeah, I'm Dylan Kanabiran, founder and CEO of Hack in the Box. Uh, been doing this for way too long, I think, probably about 20 years so far. Um, I started the conference uh, in 2000 mainly because um, it was a bit too cost prohibitive to attend events in the US. Uh, and so we decided why don't we try and start something similar, but with a slightly different twist. And that's how Hack in the Box came to be, basically. I actually spent a lot of my secondary school years in Brunei. Um, and for those of you who don't know, Brunei is a really very small, tiny country in Southeast Asia. Um, and they had brought the internet as a... Before the internet was the internet, there was these things called BBS, uh, Bulletin Board Systems. Uh, and so Brunei had a, a small little BBS. It had like two little phone lines you could connect and talk to one other person at any time. Um, and that was kind of like the, the start of the internet before it became the internet. It was just BBSs, bulletin board systems that you could connect to. Uh, and that's really where I first encountered other people that shared a similar interest in technology and in exploring stuff and figuring out how things work. Um, and it started from there, really. So this was like probably 1994, I think, maybe 1994, 1995, somewhere around there. So I think having an understanding of how technology works um, opens up a lot of possibilities because you don't take things at face value and that literally is what hacking is about. It's kind of like not taking things for granted and looking behind the scenes and kind of like wanting to know how things work. It's an inherent drive that kind of sits within most security people, or most hackers, uh, have this kind of niggling question at the back of their mind of why, how, and they constantly want to know. Uh, and it's that push that kind of like keeps us going, really. I mean, it's what um, it's it's the thing that drives us, right? That constant need to understand technology, understand how things work, uh, and that goes across the board. It doesn't have to be a technology problem. Um, we kind of approach most issues with a more um, with a deeper uh, deeper understanding of that of that key technology, uh, and that's just kind of the hacker way. It's a it's a state of mind.